Hey guys, we really hope you enjoy this episode, and if you do, remember to give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and we'd love it if you subscribed as well. Enjoy! Last time on Adventure Drift, we enjoyed the sun and heat on a beautiful spinnaker sail from Los Frailes to Ensenada Los Muertos in the southern Sea of Cortez. Here, we watched hundreds of manta rays jump around the boat and dove in for a closer look before sailing to Isla Saralvo, where we anchored off a secluded beach overlooking colorful hills, before making our way into civilization in the busy town of La Paz. Our boat is a complete mess right now. We've got everything pulled apart, doing a couple of little last minute things just to get ready. We've got some family coming to visit tomorrow. So Hillary's right back here. She's uh, working on um, a video. I'm not sure which one, but she's working on a video for you guys. And everything's pulled apart. We've got, see over here is bloody laundry sitting out that we've got to put away. It's been out for a few days. All our fabrics out because Hillary's starting to work on a uh, sunshade covers for the cockpit area and, and the boat in general. And we've got a few groceries we finally bought today walking around town, but that's all pulled out because I'm defrosting uh, defrosting our fridge over here and it hasn't been working really well I've got to look into that I mean it, it runs but it doesn't ever turn off and it should turn off um, defrosting that's one thing that'll help and then I think there might be something wrong with the thermostat on there because it doesn't seem to uh, turn off at any point I'm gonna get all that and then I've also got the I'm gonna pull the head apart and just uh, grease up all the uh, the pump and everything so that makes it nice and easy for our guests but it's a beautiful day outside um, really really hot and all Picking up a rental car from town, we hit the road for a two-hour drive to the airport in Cabo. Airport, we were excited to see Ty's daughter and receive a suitcase full of Amazon orders and boat supplies. As it can be quite difficult to have things shipped to Mexico, receiving these items was quite the treat, as was using the shower at the hotel room. The next morning, we got underway bright and early, headed out to the islands. With the water in the sea still warming up for the summer season, the only fish we seem to catch are striped bonito and skipjack tuna. We've discovered that they make great sushi and are very tasty cooked up like steak. Bye bye fishy! Bye Thank you! Thank you Mr. Fish. So we hooked a fish and we we're gonna throw him back because we already have a striped bonito. It was from this morning. When we pulled him in, Looks like someone was trying to eat him off of our lure. We saw something in the water. We were pulling it in. We were confused because the line wasn't pulling tight, but I think it was something trying he, to eat him. He wasn't on there long either because we just put that lure out after the other one. Yeah, like but he's a few got some. Ago. Uh, he's got some bites on him there for sure. Yeah, something big was trying to eat him. Something big was. Yeah. So we're not gonna. Uh, we're not gonna waste him. He's gonna die. We're gonna make use of him and uh, feed ourselves. Yep. So thank you, Fishy. Thank you, Fish. So this is Sienna, my daughter. Hi. She's joined us for a few days. Going out to Espiritu Santo. And she took a while to get up this morning. She's trying to relax into the sail. So it's our second fish this morning. What do you have to say about that? Um, it's bloody. It looks kind of gross. Yeah. You don't like it? Not particularly. Yeah. So Sienna's a vegetarian. We eat fish, 
No. Okay. That'd be a pescatarian. Or a vegetarian. A vegetarian? So you've got a couple of cruising guides here? Yeah, we have well we have the two we've always had. We have Charlie's Charts and Mexico Boating Guide. When we just got delivered to us, we ordered Sia Cortez specific book. So we're just reading them and comparing, trying to figure out which anchorage we want to go to. It's funny reading the books and seeing what different people have to say. <laughs> Some people say one place is not an anchorage, other people say it is. So, but getting different people's opinions on them. Anchored at El Cardencito, it was incredibly calm, and we decided to test out rowing only the stern half of our new dinghy, and it ended up working perfectly. Isla Partida, which is north of La Paz, and it's just north of Espirito Santo. And we stayed at a pretty awesome little anchorage last night, El Cardencito. Um, it's a little tiny, like, slot canyon almost, which is just north of the really popular anchorage between the two islands. We had it all to ourselves, beautiful blue water. The next morning, we set off for a hike exploring the narrow canyon that continued uphill from the anchorage. And went on a hike this morning. Beautiful hike up, up the canyon. Um, all kinds of beautiful plants up there. Different kinds of cactuses and a lot of different kinds of trees. We were surprised to see that. It's spring right now, but everything was very green. Lots of stuff blooming right now, which was really pretty to see. So we found lots of really cool looking plants here, but this one's pretty interesting. It's like a giant fuzzball around a flower that's about to bloom. Whereas one here, this guy, has actually bloomed. It's a little purple flower coming out. It's like totally surrounded by this like fuzz. And it sticks together too. It's hard to pull apart. A little cotton ball. What did you find? Did you find a bunny? Well, not purposefully. Yeah, but you disturbed him. He was cute, right? What yeah. did he look like? Black and big. Black and big. Brownies. Yeah. And it hopped away and was not eaten by a vulture. <laughs> And he hopped up the top of these canyon walls pretty darn quick. Yeah, he like flew up there. We had heard that spring was the best time in the Sea of Cortez, and all of the green and blooms that were around is definitely one of the reasons why. At the top of the hill, we look down at Partida Cove, separating Espiritu Santo from Isla Partida.
sailed around the corner here. We are at, I think it's Ensenada Grande, one of the three anchorages here. We didn't quite make it to the anchorage. Hillary decided to jump in. She's gone, trying to find a swim with the manta rays. The flying pygmy manta rays that we've been seeing around. So graceful underwater, just like barely moving, swimming along nice and smooth. It's pretty cool to see. So now we're here, there's a few other boats here. Um, so we don't have it to ourselves, but it still looks beautiful. There's smaller manta rays jumping all around, and just had some fish jumping off over there. How was the day? We had some awesome snorkeling today. Went out to Las Islotes, which is just north of Isla Partida. Some really cool fish out there. Beautiful bright colored fish and some sea stars and different stuff like that. We got to swim with sea lions. There's a little sea lion colony out there, and it's part of the national park kind of thing of Espiritu Santo. Sea lions are totally used to people, and they just like love swimming with you. They want to play with you underwater, I think. Diving down underwater, the sea lion pups love to play and show off their flips and twirls. We felt like they were challenging us to a swim off. This place was truly like swimming in an aquarium, with the most variety and abundance of sea creatures that we've seen anywhere so far on our journey. So you got some lunch going on for us? Yeah, I'm making up a little guac and a pico, and some pasta for a pasta salad later on, and a little snack. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to find the sun? Yeah. It's the best part for it. When the boat to tilts, it works. Oh, there's some sun. Yeah. So what did you get up to today? A big rock with lots of sea lions on it and various cool fish on it. What did you think of the bloody sea lions though? They were very friendly. They were, weren't they? Mm-hmm. 
They were like curious and friendly. They would come like literally right up to your face. I don't know what they were. It's like they were trying to give you a kiss almost. And they're like, okay, come play with me now. Actually, I think I can see right behind you, Sienna. Mm -hmm. I can see Lost is a Yeah. That's okay. it. That's where all those sea lions were. And then uh, we'll head back to the same anchorage I think we were in last night, which is, I don't know what, Ensenada Grande, Ensenada Grande, something like that. And then tomorrow we'll sail back into La Paz. It's a nice sunset going down. With great wind just forward of our beam, we made our way out of the anchorage and back towards La Paz. Throughout the sail, as we passed the islands, the San Lorenzo Channel, and the Baja Coast, the wind constantly shifted. After sailing on a broad reach under Spinnaker and Maine, the wind shifted behind us, so we dropped the Maine and sailed under Spinnaker alone. Coming into the La Paz Channel, the wind swung around and we sailed close hauled through the red and green buoys. After a very awesome week of fun and exploring, it was back to the airport and time to say goodbye. Alright, that's all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. Huge thanks to all our patrons and all of our viewers. You really help us out. If you need any information on anything in the episode, be sure to check out all the links in the description below. Adios. Cheers.